Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine if SCL2 is a polar or non-polar molecule. To start with it, we first look at its lowest structure. So this is the lowest structure of SCL2 that is sulfur dichloride in which sulfur atom is forming two single bonds with two chlorine atoms. This molecule might seem linear at the first glance because of the arrangement of atoms and the electron pairs but let's not forget about the two lone pairs of electrons that are present on the central atom. These lone pairs cause a bend in the shape and as a result the molecular geometry of this molecule is bent. Now. When you calculate the difference of electronegativities for sulfur and chlorine atom, sulfur atom has an electronegativity value of 2.50 and for chlorine it is 3.0 and the difference is higher than 0.4 which makes this bond between sulfur and chlorine polar. And as these bonds are polar and as these dipole moments will not be cancelled out by each other because of the bent shape and as these bonds are polar there is a dipole moment between sulfur and chlorine atom which is in the direction of chlorine atom from the sulfur atom and this will be present on both the sides of the molecule and as it has a bent molecular geometry it cannot cancel each other out as a result there is a non-zero dipole moment in this molecule which makes SCL2 a polar molecule. So sulfur dichloride is a polar molecule because of the bent molecular geometry and the lone pairs that are present on the central atom. I hope this video helps you to understand that and for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.